And enjoy the fact that this lets me move around that much faster. And dodge all the things. To some extent. And that's not the only mobility upgrade we get in the castle. I just realized that I'm not supposed to be going this way, but to take the save room. That's what I was planning on. Or the warp room, rather. Oh, oh well. Take the warp room right here and go underground where I was before. And... Take heed of the fact that there are two bosses left before Dracula. Hmm. And not the fact that I'm apparently not going the right way because I don't pay attention. I might as well stop by the save room. to go to find the next counter of death here in this castle. Oh well. There's another side passageway here, or I think it is. I'm not sure if that's the case or not. Maybe this is another optional thing, or just another branching of the path. I think... no, I think it is. The place where another optional glyph is... Oh, hey, we can... I didn't realize I could actually kneel there and get a star ring for that. Another kind arcana of thing. Well, let's see if we can get to the top of this place. was creating these giant rocks. There's a break of all something that has white drops inside. And nothing more. Just more of these places. That kind of remind me of the some of the backgrounds in Circle of the Moon, actually. Never ending waves upon waves of beam skeletons. Okay. 
Because apparently that's the only thing that they get for stuff here. And a hammer striker too. Oh, there we go. I think we can get the strongest glyph, the strongest hammer glyph in the game. Melio must hear from him, but only with luck. Also, we're supposed to do this in a certain way, I'm pretty sure. If we just drop that down there, he'll just break. So what we do is drop that there to raise the water, which hmm, I think should enable us to do the same. We is a level enough to let us jump out of here. Out of here soon, with any luck. Oops, well, might as well take another one of those. They are kind of rare. this area. Let's see where we end up next. Uh, yeah, there should be two more areas. Two more areas that are dedicated to bosses, at least. I'm not sure if this one is. I had to recall that the area where one, uh, area where one of, of the bosses is, is the obligatory clock tower. I can't think I recall it having this music. Or appearance. I think this area doesn't have a boss actually. So let's see, we got a save room which I will gladly take. Hmm. Now we can actually duck under that. To level with it. Did not realize that. Unfortunately, there's also these things if you can turn them. But at least the uh, positions such that you don't actually have to face them head on. Which is the worst thing, I am telling you. Oh boy. But also, Blade Masters, formerly Skeleton Blazes. Which are pretty acrobatic, as you kind of saw there. It's a chest, yeah, it's a chest. I don't remember where all the mimics are, so I only pretty much only remember the one from the waterfall, so terribly cautious now. Hmm. Are we leveling up? I think we might have. Hmm. Can we get this guy through the stairs? Maybe not. Oh boy. I think it does move slightly faster than you though, which doesn't help. I also can recall there being more breakable walls. Thingies here. Hmm. How do we exit to the places? Oh yeah, that's the uh, thing that unlocks the, the wall over in the entrance. I should probably go unlock that actually. And there's Malaki who was called Cthulhu. Or oh, there was Malaki who was called Cthulhu in Symphony. There we go. So now this passageway is unlocked. I'm not gonna traverse it now, but... It sure is there, and it's unlocked. Devil now. Just devil. I guess not. I think there's already a generic demon enemy in this game too, so. 
I guess they completely abandoned the prospect of having a dedicated Cthulhu enemy. Oh boy, a Red Smasher. Who uses knives? Kind of. Also, it does an animation where it throws a knife when it dies. Pretty sure we can get the strongest Coulter knife glyph from him. And in this, this difficulty, I guess, that animation doesn't hurt you, but in hard mode it does. Oh boy, it's a Lizardman blade, which doesn't carry a shield, but a giant sword. And dies like that, I did not remember that. There's a few different passages. I don't know if... I don't remember if I'll... Hmm. I think there's at least one passage rather that we have to explore to find one of the keys to the last area of this place. I think the other two are being guarded by the bosses, but then again, I don't remember if that's the case or if we need something else the bosses are guarding to find the other two passages. Or if there's only one more, but basically what we're trying to do right now is, is find keys to the final area, which has the entrance in that place with the server statue. And we need to find the bosses to be able to do that. So I sure hope I don't die. Doesn't work on this and my side though. But I do want to know how much longer until I can get another save room. That's the eternal question when when you're not as OP as you could be. Come on, I'm over here. by actually attacking. Gonna make another one of these just in case. I think there's a save room just down here though, if memory serves. Or a warp room at least. And a chest with a Valkyrie mail. You know, I should probably be equipping those. I think they're better than what I'm wearing. Did I also get Valkyrie boots or something like that? Or Valkyrie something? Maybe I imagined that. Maybe I didn't get that because I loaded state after that. That might be it. Oh well. It's pretty much the best stuff we could be wearing now unless I suddenly found something better in. Well this I suppose so it. Chariot ring. What about the star increase MP recovery rate? Yeah, maybe not. Mm. I thought that was gonna be an HP max up. Down there, but I guess not. Yeah, I do believe the... Well, this guy's signed three hits, I suppose. Also, I am near death, once again. And because I am being extremely cheap in all of my actions right now, I'm going to keep using these as insurance. Apparently we're nearly out of this area. It's gotta be worth something. Oh boy, imps. Do they die on hit at least? I don't know. No, they don't. Of course. So close though. So 
So let's see where we end up next. In the mechanical tower, there we go. This is where one of the bosses I'm thinking of should reside. And also oh boy, oh damn it. This music I believe is reused from Castlevania Chronicles on the PS1. Where it was called Tower of Dolls, I believe. Because it was used in that area. So at least I'm getting levels. And you know that I need them. Because doing run through stuff uh, these games again has reminded me how much I like having an overpowered build to go through everything. Mostly for grinding purposes. What we got? We got this feel which increases strength and physical glyphs. Hmm. Damn it. Also, I'm under the effect of. Yeah, that's what I thought. The imp which makes you keep attacking and able to do nothing else. Hmm. Maybe not. I want to avoid all damage right now. So let's turbo fight this one again. It doesn't really help all that much. Hmm. There we go. And if I reserve, there should be at least one save room nearby. This big room right here. It's not there. This is, however, one clock tower style area with lots of platforms and spikes and Medusa heads, so. Should be fun. Actually, I don't think this is the only place we can go. Hmm. From the. No, it isn't. From the underground passage, but. I don't know which one it would be better to. I think we're gonna do this place first because there's an item here that I really want for the boss runs. And I would rather get that first. For like the three boss runs that are left in the game. Okay, we need to use Magnus to proceed here in a very precarious way. Help when it <sighs> readjusts itself like that. Let's try this again. Mm. There. Oh boy, I think this is the way to. Actually, I don't know. One of these passages is for being able to go forward. That's what they're weak against. But it doesn't really show. Also, there's like three varieties of what is heading here. There is blue, yellow, and grey. <laughs> and hmm. yeah, that's a grey one. We can get. Ooh, that's a rare glyph. I don't want to miss it, but I don't want to die either. What the hell? Well, I guess I'm not getting it. I don't know why that lizard man didn't die. And I'm gonna have to change my glyphs again, I expect. Let me try a different Fulgur one this time. Hmm. What the hell? I didn't change the one. I didn't want to change the ones from the gear set. I want to change this ones. Oh, well, whatever. 
more foul juice again, come on. There we go. That should be more effective. Hmm. Well, it would be more effective than nothing at all if I didn't keep getting knocked out of the room. I'm never gonna make a let's play of this, I don't think. You can see how well it would go. Oh boy, there's two of these guys, it probably has something to do with that. Oh boy. Get a glyph from the. Oh, never mind. There it is again. Green into his head. Which summons with his head in a strangely familiar pattern, apparently. Or at least a default. Hmm. But as before, the blue with his head sound actually turned into stone, but the other two kinds do. Oh boy. Recall how much care you need while going through this place. But at least you also get stuff like the Valkyrie mask. And I think there's also some secret things you can find. I guess there's none here though. I don't remember how any of these passages go. I think there may or may not be another secret glyph nearby that you need to do some sound maneuvers to get. Yes, there we go. Actually, I think that if you were lucky from that little robot guy, you can get a glyph that's Arma Machina. Yeah, Arma Machina that lets you become a robot yourself. And when you're in that form you're pretty much invincible, by the way. Also this is a shortcut to the top floor passageway I believe. Or rather the way to open one up. Damn it, it's these guys. Whom I hate. So those guys who do too much damage to my liking, for my liking, oh boy, but at least you can open this up, thing up, and then die probably, yep, I'm coming, in just one second, or maybe not, <laughs> well, t mm, never mind, I was gonna say time to save scum, but perhaps not, a little bit ahead of me there, so maybe we won't be unlocking that after all, unless we actually do want to come, from this direction, which I don't really see happening, not immediately anyway. Hmm, damn it. Nope, what I want to do right now is just get to the top of this place. Hmm, I forgot you can actually mm, dip down into the spikes well on the... <coughs> the magnetic circle thing. Do I have any water left? Hang on. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Let's try this once again. Pretty sure, I should say, there's something secret. I didn't realize it was an HP max up though, feeding one of those. Is 
So what do we got up here? Apparently we're not gonna find out. <laughs> Should do that more often. Seems apparently I'm gonna use everything now. Because I do want to finish this. Hmm. Well, what's to the left? Let's see. There is a hard chorus. You know what? This isn't even the... Hmm. Hmm. The part with the trickiest jumping puzzles in the game. They reserve that for something else. Which I think I might show after this part is done. The castle. And the actual end comes. Or maybe I'll wait until after I've shown that. To get to the end. I don't know. I wish I remembered which way was up and which way was two sideways stuff. I will. Mm. <coughs> I guess it doesn't really matter in the end. Okay, what have we got here? Got a thing hidden in a room. There is a de Ooh, the death ring. This is what I wanted. Nice. Didn't remember it being there, actually. I'm just glad I found that by pure chance. But the death ring has a pretty good use if, like me, you want to get the boss medals at all costs. And it will be shown off as soon as I get to the boss of this place, which will be. I don't know what's going on in the background there, it looks like something spinning. But anyway... I don't think there should be that much of this area left. Another Frankenstein Riskin AK rebuild. The first one being Enkidu. Hmm. I'll never tell you I don't remember what any of these things do because usually I just. Is my OP build skill them too quickly bef to let them do any of that? But I guess I'm paying the price for that now. Okay, I think we should be right at the boss pretty much. Yep, that's the. Oops, the. Um, Warp room and. Mm, what did I know? See room up here. Put in a merciful place at least. Okay. Oof. And to help me out in this fight, I'm going to use the death ring. But if you look at it, it may cause instant death, but it gives you a huge stat increase, especially when attack. With attack. And it says hits may cause instant death. That's a bit of an understatement because if you're wearing this, hits will cause instant death, guaranteed. But that's alright because we're not looking to get hit at all anyway. Also, here's death. Who shall cut us down? We can do. Well, it's not that much damage in large scale, grand scheme, but it's definitely greater damage than if we didn't have this. Hmm. Now the question is going to be being able to dodge everything <laughs> effectively. God damn, I don't remember how that should be accomplished, though. This might prove tricky. Such, alright. Hmm. Because even a stray anything can mess you up because of the whole instant death thing. Hmm. But apparently this is Way more damage than we would be doing without this little aid. Oh boy. There we go. Nope. No. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh boy. 
tell... Let me tell you something right now. When I was, like, in middle school, starting middle school, I discovered emulators and got them running for the first time, and was determined to get uh, through as many Super Nintendo games I knew as I could, at any and all costs. So I became very adept at using save states in as efficient a way as possible. I'm getting used to use the button the hotkey and key combinations required to make it effective. And I guess that is being That is bearing its fruits now, as much as you can see at least. Hmm. I don't remember how much stealth how much death, yeah no, how much health death has. I think it's something like 44 or 4 all of these reasons, but I think it might be more than that, more in this 6,000 range. Hmm. Oh boy. But let me tell you the boss that comes after this. There should be a few more surprises. Up here it comes. I don't know how much worse it's actually going to be than this. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how... Oh, but... Oh, never mind, we did it. We got the totally fairly acquired death medal. And... Bonus thing. And for getting through that all, we get... This glyph. Sinestro Custas. Left head of servers, the guardian of hell. Did there be another one? Yes, there are three glyphs in this set, so it's kind of, uh, kind of indicative of what they're for. We can attack with them too, but that's not the main use they're intended for, so now that we've quit that boss fight, let's go ahead and take this thing off, because as fun as instant death is... Hmm. And let's warp out of here. We need to go to one more place now that's below, actually, so... So I need to go all the way back over here to take an alternate passageway that I somehow ignored, apparently. I think... It might also be away from the armory, but if so, then I didn't see it. Hmm. So yeah, I guess we're going there now. Time to go through these very exciting tunnels filled with laser skeletons all over again. I oh, could change the background just a bit. It's a bit soporific. I don't know. This is the one from. Yep, this is the one from the underground stage in. Castlevania 1. It's sewers. Which is apparently where a lot of people die because it's so difficult to make that jump near the start. Actually, I just realized that I'm not going the right way already. Never mind. Back to backtrack a bit. Have to go not that way, but this way, I think. I think. I don't remember the exact layout. It might be to the left, for all I know.
And here we go. This should lead us to where I want to go. Well, at least I expect so. Oh boy. It's one of these guys. It's not sure. Who drops an iron plate? But will not drop the best knife with. Hmm, maybe not. I guess this isn't where I wanted to go after all. But at least we get a hard max up. Could have sworn that this is the place, but there's visible right here. But maybe it isn't. Maybe it's to the left. Is it? No, I don't think it is actually. Hmm. This is kind of an odd question. You know what? Just a minute. Never mind. I've just realized something. Where it is. It is in a passageway that I neglected to explore. So I need to make it to a warp room to get to it there again, so I think the closest one is actually the second the back exit to the castle. Let's go through this again. And think for a moment that the music is not linked to the game, but it is. Oh, there we go. Yeah, something tells me we're not going to be anywhere close to level 50 when we get to the end. We're just kind of hard because that's kind of some standard practice for you know, we're going right back in, but in this direction. For these DS Castlevanias. So we're going over here, I think. Yep. Hmm. Oh boy. Still can't kill these guys in one or two hits. We're going here, and we are going up and right into the tower area. It looks like we can kill the lizard in <coughs> one hit less now, at least. We go the way over here again, and we... Damn it. Damn it. But now we can actually make it somewhat different if we go. We head in this direction. We're gonna stop by the same room first because that's a prudent thing to do, and this time instead of going up, we are going down. Starting with this passageway over to the right. 
Uh, we avoid spikes, presumably, yes. But not quite as dangerously as in the other way. Which is death's way, so... So let's see what's over there. robots, which have not given anything up, including apparently their very non-rare item that they're supposed to have. Hmm. Hmm. Still not giving that up. Silver or the there is. So if we go here, I believe yes, we should be able to power up both of these and get more was Can't remember what that does. Or if it's even useful for anything. But apparently it commands a forbidden curse. Right and going. In this direction this time. Hmm. There we go. You're actually supposed to do this way first, since I think the death way tower passageway is a bit more filled with egregious challenges and enemies, but I did want that death ring. First and foremost, and I don't regret that. how the Lizard and corpses are like the one thing that remains. Even after they die, when most other enemies just blow up or such. Except the ones that leave like vestiges. hits anytime soon. Oh yeah, here's way to a different place. The Arms Depot, which the last pre-Dracula boss we will encounter resides in. And actually provides kind of a unique boss for this type of game. And it's probably the longest one to fight out of all of them. For how that fight works, but first we need to actually reach him, so... I think this place is pretty uh, 
pretty linear layout, so it's basically horizontal and vertical lines, straight lines. Oh hey, we got uh, the strongest hammer lift melee masseur. So of course, it's time to replace wall masseur with melee masseur. There we go. It's apparently it's a mace. Rather than an actual hammer, but... Oh, it does the job. Uh, if only I could remember who gives out the melee of Falchus, which is the strongest slashing glyph. That would be great, but I don't. This guy still don't go into hits. Hmm. Alright, one moment. Need to confirm something quickly. Go this way first, I would imagine. Oh, well, it's ruler swords. Haven't seen these guys in a while. Or spectral swords, as they're called now. I guess. Maybe this is it. I don't know. This is it. No, this is a scutum glyph. Melio scutum. I don't even use the shield, so. Too late for that, I guess. And Mud Snatcher, which is pretty much a uh, Mud Butcher, which. Spider legs coming out the back. And a ruby, which we don't really need right now. I think maybe you get the strongest uh, Falchus Glyph from the ruler sword, but I don't remember. Right now, let's just try to get through this place. Oh god. Oh boy. Well, there's more glyphs just lying around for here for us to get, I guess. That's... which one is that? Melee Coulter, huh. So I guess the one that the, the Red Smashers drop is actually a wall Coulter. Or just regular Coulter, I don't know. Oh god. Now let's see what this guy... He has a weakness to slash, so that's actually stronger than Melly Masseur. Well, oh shit. Also, they're quite problematic. I did not remember that. Also, these guys that I also forget about, Great Knights. Oh boy, and they are also weak to hammers. I guess it is the armory. Oh, there's Melio Falchus, I think. I want this. Superior Sigil Glyph. And the King's Skeleton. I guess it is stronger than the Giant Skeleton, but it's still not annoying to fight. Oh, yeah, I should probably replace Wall Falchus with Melio Falchus now. Please, mustn't have the greatest reach though. I have over here, please. Oh, it doesn't want to come down here. Yeah, but now it does. I'll come up here, rather. So there should be... Let's see, the boss is to off to the right. So that's a warp room. I guess the save room's gonna be... Damn it. I don't remember where the save room is because I thought there was just like a giant straight line. I guess I'll have to jut out a bit for that. There we go. Oh boy. Hmm. Not like that. Well, that does a lot less damage than I was expecting it to. We will see that. The sword is weak to blades rather than hammers. I don't know. Nope, it's actually weaker to hammers, never mind. So, now I know. Pretty sure that wasn't the case in earlier games or whatever. How many are there? 
There's just two. All right. Right. I think that will be the saber on the right. Oops. And there's a breakable thing right here with a mint Sunday. So it's time to scum save my way through the last pre Dracula boss. With the death ring, should be right here. For improved effect. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? It's gonna be kinda tricky, I think, without certain glyphs, the stronger axe glyphs, but I will. So here he is. This is Eligor. And he is huge. So it's quite a good idea to have certain glyphs to help you out in this fight. But you don't really have to, I guess. And the way this works, you need to first break his knees and then get under him and try to ooh, survive or not get hit by these things, these crossbow things that are on his. His uh, joints, I guess, for his legs. You can destroy them, which makes it significantly easier, but you need very specific aiming for that. Aiming glyphs, that is, like Meliasia. And I think they respawn every time you do this, because you can cycle this like, in a, like a Colossus climb of sorts. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. Better than I thought. I mean, Pretty much keep dodging that. Mm. Until, oh right, he also tries to kick you with his actual legs. Oh, it's gonna be, make this even worse. Mm. There we go. But hey, I mean this for a long haul, I guess. This is pretty much one of two things that is left for me to complete this challenge, so this ridiculous challenge that I've decided to do. Ooh, damn it. There we go. So I think I'll stick through that. Actually, I could. Hmm, let's see which Asia glyphs I have right now, actually. I can only have. Oh, I have all Asia. I would like to have Melu Asia, but I guess I can't. How is Volasia? Mm, could be worse. Oh boy. And he slams his tail down at you. Mm. Oh boy. Nope. Damn it. Oh, you can actually knock those away, didn't realize. Knock it out, you can actually climb on him and hurt the part of that matter, which is, which is the big one on his back. I don't think you can actually try not to get knocked off, and there we go. And off him in one go, or else he cycles. Which I will. And when he dies, he charges and charges right into the wall and becomes a platform. So there we are. And we got the Eligor medal. Could have shown that the whole time, but keep forgetting to. And here's another one of these, so we only have one left. Arma Custos. That must be a third, so we're only missing Dextra Custos, I think. And to get that, well, let me unequip the Death Ring. And let this thing back on. We need 
to go and take a detour because there aren't any more bosses left before Dracula, so we need to find it in a hidden place. To get to the safe or warp room, of course. So I'll be off. I'm guessing that the glyph you get from Spectral Sword, a.k. Ruder Sword, is Melio Sicario, the strongest sword glyph. Oh boy. And I keep forgetting that sometimes the skull can just try to grab you. skeleton just stops moving. So one that remains. Alright, here we go. So there's only one stretch left before the final stretch. It's here in the library. It's very close by actually. Oh boy. Well, we can one-shot the peeping eyes now, so that's something. Where did the Dracula girl go? There she is. Hmm, come on. Come on. Of course. Oh. Dracula groupies. So, something does me not voluntary once. Alright. To catch me a thread. And this fucking thing. Hmm. So let's go. It's this way. Which is why I didn't want to go this way, because it's kind of a detour that if you open, because... There's no save rooms nearby, and there are quite a few things here that can kill you. So it's more uh, tin than if I recall. There's also this secret wall that you can break, and you can find... Refectio. Hmm. Physical regeneration. I don't think that's a thing that normally happens, though. Hang on. It, oh yeah, I forgot I had this. <laughs> Damn it. I don't use Lugum. Refectio, let me see. Yeah, apparently it makes you regenerate health slowly. That's nice. I think I'm actually gonna equip that for the other one. No, damn it. It is very slow though. I don't know whether it's like a these things. We have a pantry here under Dracula's Castle. And the Dracula's Castle Library, of all places, but apparently there is. Damn it. I don't like Tin Man, have I said that yet? Like can we set pretty much our program to be lying to you at a fixed speed and never do anything else? Not just in this game, but in pretty much all games I do that. That are beyond the NES era. Hmm. I think there's more breakable stuff, but I don't remember where. Oh. Walls or boxes, apparently. Oh, damn it. You know what? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and stroll on right past this. Oh boy. And apparently, they don't follow you after a certain point. Okay. And here we go. This is the last server's glyph. Dexter Gustus, yes. 
Is this the final piece? Yes. And now we need to bring the three glyphs together and meet the final challenge. Now the question is, will I be able to do that and finish it before like... like 11? Because I see the crowd has seen that. Damn it. And without... Hmm, why am I not turning this back on, the regeneration thing? That seems kind of silly to me. Can will I actually take the time to to do the other two areas? Turn that another. She could leave that off to to at a later time because it would kind of uh, lead into eat more into stuff. But uh, well, let me see. There is. The place you have to go to get to the final area here is pretty much just up ahead. Following this direction, but I also want to warp away for a moment so, so I can heal and recover from being hit by these things. But you can see too how they start spinning their axe as they get closer. Do it. Uh, go here, I guess. It's the least menacing place. Hmm. Let him save like this too. And go right back there. Back to where the cave trolls are. But we didn't lock not the skeleton places. Damn it. Still not fast enough apparently to kill them. Without letting them get hit in. Not there's nothing to hit the bear, the bug bears, it seems. So here we are. We're here at the place with the dog heads. So we find the Dexacustos. Sinestro Custos and Arma Custos. And we're able to open the place up. The power inside is incredible. It's got to be Dracula. So here we go. Let's go to this final tower of... Medusa Heads and Flying Skeletons. And save before going into the final place, the top floor. Final approach, dust to dust. This is pretty much all that's left now. I guess that's supposed to be a clock face in the back. And well, you can get a few extra glyphs here that make navigation pretty easy. Okay. Don't remember if you get. I think you do get the um, big high jump thing. That's up an L. But you also get a glyph that makes it pretty easy to go anywhere you want. 
and eight, so that height is not a deterrent. I guess I'm gonna get that as well. For the sake of convenience and for showing off, because it is a pretty unique thing. Apparently it makes no difference, no. And apparently that's a painting of Dracula in the back, at least what it looks like in this game. His appearance does change pretty drastically sometimes between games. He has long hair instead of the neat kind of a uh, rich person cut he had in Porter of Ruin. I got hmm, no way. Cool, grinding to level 99 is into is if you're doing I guess you can just go to the place with all the rapid thrusters, I think they're called. Oh boy. This guy does not look friendly in terms of giving us it's pretty much how everyone does it. How much longer before I get in the Somewhere rather. Oh boy. And more importantly, am I going somewhere? Because there's two paths to take from here. Damn it. Okay, well, I guess. Help. I'll fight this little thing. Oh god. Lilith, who doesn't throw bats at you, but rather hearts? Doing out the electricity again for this. And not the, the dogs. Oops. Just want to be remembering to turn this on. There's also that. That's the reason why. Oh boy. Oh, time to change that again. Come on, full gore. Full gore. <laughs> oh, damn it. It's changed to the wrong thing. Alright, let's have some more time. All the places. Hmm. And I don't want to get cornered like that, so. Hmm. But apparently I'm destined to. Alright, apparently they're manageable though. in this room, but I think I need to go to the edges to find more stuff that will possibly help me survive. Damn it. Well, falling down there will not help me survive.
somehow aggroing everything in the area. Despite being over close, what are we surviving? Okay, if I go up here, I think there might be something that will help me with that though. Like a warp room. <laughs> you know what? I think the final approach, uh, final area, final stairway is pretty much just up ahead. So let me see. If I can get to the C room, that will inevitably be matched with that. Yep, here we are. Hmm. And also Padius. Let me get Padius. It's right down here. Do we get whatever this is? MP max up, but I'm pretty sure that's not the other one. Also a super potion. <laughs> I don't know if I can get up there yet. I would assume so. Nope, never mind. Damn it, I do have to go search for this other thing. That I thought was optional, but I guess not. And I guess that means I'll have to warp away for a minute so I can show my survival. Or at least make it more likely. And sure is kind of a strong word. Hmm. So let's go back here. Where are we gonna go back to anyway? Because of the circuit we're gonna have to take. Okay, here we go. Final approach again, and go left from here. Hmm. Damn it. I don't like how saturated this room is with things that try to kill you. Even if they do go down with some effort. I can just do this. Mm. No, I'll just go past this guy. Unless... No, this thing's already... Okay, never mind. How long into that? I have a feeling that shouldn't be the case. At least these guys are less annoying than the final guards from the previous games. I'll at least say that. So let's see here. Actually, I think that painting in the back here in this room might be from the previous thing, but I don't know. does not all fall into the abyss of this eventuation. Even if even if health is drained at an alarmingly high rate, right? At least lids are easy. Let's see. 
Apparently the best way to fighting these guys is just doing it on foot. Without jumping. Alright, I think this is the place I want to be with the red skeletons. Where we get the final yes there is a thing that we need if we can absorb it. We get Volaticus, which allows us to fly. So instead of Magnus, we can just use this. And we get wings. I forgot that that was actually required, though. To get to the end. Mm. Mm. Damn it. Chests, which contain semi-useful stuff like blue drops, sunring, MP max up, but no HP max up. I looks fit. Hard max up. I know we have this. We can finish the circuit. That goes from here to the library, to the place where we can get easy heals. So of course I'll do it. So now that we have that, it's time to go kill Dracula, I think. If I can make it back to... You know, the place we need all the warps and such. Since that is all that is left to conclude this. And I have gone way over the... Limit of how long I wanted to go for, so... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get another means to do this right now. And what is we are almost at 666 health. Go up there to the final approach. And now that we have the ability to fly. Just ignore everything and go right on ahead. I did not realize that the actual room right before Dracula was gonna be one of these, but now we can get the final medal, boss medal of the game here. And of course, to help us in this endeavor, we will equip the Death Ring. Like always. So let's see what we have to say to Dracula now that we made it all the way over here after all this. You're the one to whom I owe this great pleasure, oh. Well, hmm. Damn, the blade to punish all evil and have come to see you annihilated. Die, Demon Lord Dracula. So here we go. With Dracula having two fight modes now. I didn't catch that. Oh boy. Well, always with the hazard of instant death, of course. That is part of the experience. So, hey, Burn. Also, I don't know what happened to the viewer list, but it's like it got frozen at three people. Oh shit. 
a while ago, but yeah, later on. So he still has the dark meter thing and the fireballs. But now they come at more than three at a time, as you can very well appreciate. <laughs> come on, become vulnerable faster. Thank you. Oh, we yeah, fatal ray. Well, it falls from above after that. And in this case, though, it's not just a ray, but everything is fatal. Out of hearts, pretty much for the Glyphian that we have right now. Nope, we have one more. Yep. Yep. Shoot. Okay. I guess the safe spot for avoiding that is close to him or in the center, whichever one is more convenient. Uh, oops! I forgot he did that. Actually, I did not remember that at all. Doing a thing. Why am I jump attacking? Because it allows me to move while attacking, which is not the case if I attack while on land, as you can see. Oh boy. Also, these wolves, I don't remember how to deal with them. Right, I guess you just hit them. But he's made it into the second phase, where he is pretty much walking around, and he does that. Which I think is an insta kill or very close to one, even if you're not wearing a death ring, so. Oops. Oops. And the bats. Hmm. I think it's safe if you stay right next to him. Or maybe not, never mind. Nope. Wings? No, maybe not. He really has sort of everything. No, I don't think you should bother with that. Hmm. Hmm. Do you just... Damn it. Who's one of these? No, apparently this is the way to go. Oops. That much I do not remember, let me tell you. Oops. Oh, scheiße. Okay. Okay. Get closer then. Come on, there we go. There we go. Oh boy. Yep, that's what I thought. Oh. Oops. Can now he spams teleportation, even though. Well, in a different way, I suppose, you could say. Ah, there we go. But that's not enough to kill him, of course. Because she doesn't have... A special holy power, but with the power of Dominus. She can sacrifice herself. But if you don't do that and just stand there and let him do what he's doing... That's an attack that's pretty much inescapable. Is that demonic Megiddo? I need to listen to that. Yep, Demonic Megiddo. I think he also does it in Judgment, but... Of course we pretty much have to do this now. To do the sacrifice. To finish this and cast a Glyph Union. And apparently that does the trick. Now there's nothing left. Mm. Except the memories, apparently. Mm. And now she's crying. This must be a final vision before I die. Or maybe not. Because apparently Albus is still around.
Hmm. Find out what else had been absorbed. Guess that's how that works. Its dark power was the way leaving what glimmer behind. Last trace of light was your sacrifice. So apparently she gets to keep her memories and emotions after all. And somehow she's still alive after using Dominus. That should be kind of a hint that something's off. So he's gonna sacrifice himself in her place, of course. And he wants to see her smile, because of course. So we get to see this. Down, but not before she has a chance to get away. And apparently, this, unlike the opening narration, doesn't have voice acting. So, there you go. That's the end of the game. I don't know, I like it. It's a bit less anime-ish, a bit more Baroque, kinda like the one they used in Symphony of the Night. And Aria of Sorrow, actually. It's also like that. And I think the transition from that kind of art in Aria of Sorrow to the kind of soft anime art in Dawn of Sorrow was kind of kind of jarring. Also, Curry the Kid did the player program. But this was the last chapter of the three Castlevania games that came out for the DS, and pretty much the last game that came out as a major standalone thing as part of the original continuity. before the whole Lords of Shadow thing came along, and before Igarashi was pretty much kicked out of Konami, who are doing such wonderful things with this IP now, but hey, at least. Apparently more stuff like that is coming because I gave $60 to Igarashi, or Igor, Igarashi to help him do it, so I expect to get it in the mail sometime in 2016. But until then, we can always look back on these games. Since they do provide a pretty uh, interesting framework, I guess. And unique as well. And how they have all pretty memorable music, apparently most of it by Michiru Yamane, who made the score for Symphony 2. But other people as well. An interesting exploration of mythology and urban legends as such, expressed in the monsters, especially since Son of Sorrow. Which you don't really see that much executed in a way like this. And there's also, well, there's music, there's... There's a variety of uh, creatures, I guess. There's also the whole design that encourages replayability and new game plus and all that to find everything. Which is pretty much what you should go for if you any of these games. 
since it does a lot to it and it's a lot more satisfying to go around with that it's pretty much going around really fast with the rapid glyph and mowing down everything in your way with an overpowered build while you try to fill out every single drop entry for the items in the monster list and try to get every glyph and every soul and such and then of course as doing the boss rush doing the extra modes it's like you get to play as well if these credits end which it looks like they might there's an at least one extra mode where you get to play as another character of which there aren't really that many choices in this game but there's that and the boss rush mode and of course getting to look over the sound mode and such in the different languages because I'm pretty sure this does have double language voice acting like Portrait of Ruin does. I think that pretty much makes uh, this game Portrait of Ruin and Symphony the only classic metroidvania to get that voice acting in two languages at least natively supported but that's the end and now if we can make it back to the title screen uh, let me see if I go to hard mode has been unlocked yes we can now play through the entire game while locked on level 1 while everything is terrible and brutal. Sound mode and Albus mode, so we get to play as Albus. And Albus controls kind of interestingly, but let me see. If I pick sound mode. Oh, here we go, language. Have English and Japanese. Castlevania or. Or Akumajo Dracula. So I'm looking for a specific clip, actually. Mm. One of the bosses and other enemies. I will recognize it. Mm. <laughs> How is that? I think that's death. Yeah, I think it is. But that's not the boss I'm thinking of. Oh my god. Why are all these characters before the one I'm looking for? God damn it. What? That's it? That's it, really? God damn it. Hang on. Hmm. Maybe it's around here then. Damn it. That's Dracula. That won't work. What won't work? Boy. I will toy with you a bit. I think that's Blackmore too. Where are you looking? Over here. This is stupid. Or is it? I don't recognize that actually. Oh well. Weak. Weakling should stay out of this. I will wring the life from you. You seem to be quite good, woman. The time for games is over. No, actually, that's like that still. Make me laugh. You Damn it! I can't find. I'm trying to find the ridiculous growl that the crab boss does. Just to kind of show off that they had a perfectly good clip to use in the place of that in the original Japanese thing. But they chose to redub that for some reason. Roragati. I don't remember that, but apparently that's the name of the gun that always has. 
How do you how do you take the stop who you stop who double it up? Give it give it in it. You're good. Soul steel. Sure. Damn it, I can't find it. Hang on, let me. I guess I'll look for that elsewhere then. This could show a bit of elbow mode for a installment. We can now start a new game plus. There's that too. Elvis normal mode, why not? Zero. I'll be winning two zeros. So if we play as Albus, it's... Uh, yeah, we can do regular shot, optical shot, quadruple ignis. Or warp by touching the touch screen. And we can do the high jump. I think we are also able to do that as Shinoa, but I don't remember. Also, apparently the, doing the high jump takes up... Uh, uses up magic. But we can warp, that also uses up magic. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. You can't hit me. And there's actually some places in the game that, because you can't use glyphs or go to the, you know, post screen or anything. You can only get to using that. You can also apparently do the fire kick. And you can spam... Flintlock bullets. And do optical shots. Which is kind of weird because they clearly call that vertical shot when you fought him as a boss in the game, the main game. And you can do max shot. Which is apparently the Yasabatus thing. Hmm. Turn his shrugs and crosses his, his arms when to hold up. But apparently nothing beyond that. But yeah, there's actually a couple of areas left in the game that I kind of want to show off as well, but... Since I've pretty much been going at it for so long now, I think I'm gonna leave that for another time. When I find the opportunity, but for now... Well, let me see... If I can find this clip that I was looking for... Hmm... Hmm. No, apparently not. Hang on. What is this? Am I gonna regret this? Hey, yes, I am. Hmm. Alright, try this then. This is the Brachior fight. Is this the English version? We'll find out very soon. Yes, yes it is. Is there a video of the Japanese version? Something tells me there won't be. What the fuck? Hmm. Maybe do it here. Whoops. Maybe this one? Thought it, didn't think it would be. I think that's it. Well, so yeah, you can get to hear the difference between the original Japanese version of this sound effect sound clip. Or the, the redubbed version, which is that. Versus the original one. Now you can see why they felt the need to... To redub that. But anyway, having shown that, I think it's, t it's time I said go ahead with the live stream because... Did a movie I want to show tonight. And I kind of wanted to do 
do it tonight because I thought I'd have less time tomorrow because of what I'm planning to do, maybe. But apparently it might work the other way around, I don't know. But yeah, I'll be going right over there after a quick break. When I refill my glass of water. So I'll see you there in a few minutes.